Yo, 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 this your boy, The Real McCoy, coming at you, man. We talking about boxing for all my boxing heads, man. I wanted to do this video, man, about uh, about, about two weeks ago. We can have about two weks ago. I, I made a video now that, you know, Floyd Mayweather made his, had his last fight September 12th, a couple of weeks ago. Beat Andre Berto, 49-0. He said he's retired. So I came out with a video as far as who I believe has the best chance of becoming the new pound for pound king of sport, king of the sport of boxing. Now that Floyd Mayweather is retired, taking out Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, I'm thinking future long term. You know, Manny Pacquiao don't have too many, too much left in the tank. I don't think he does. You know what I mean? Maybe year two max. You know what I mean? And you know, I, I made a top ten list. You know, ten being you know the least likely, number one being the most likely of the, the fighter who I believe has the best. It wasn't my, it wasn't my pound for pound list. The guys who I thought had the best chance of it, you know what I mean? Pound for pound, king of the sport. And I think I had Earl Spence, number 10, at welterweight. Keith Thurman, I think I had nine. And I think eight and seven, I had Can Canelo, Cotto, Cotto, Canelo, whatever, whatever, uh, depending on their upcoming bout. And then potentially if they're able to fight and beat Triple G. That's pretty good. May vote that, vote whoever does that at number one. Then at six, I had Andre Ward, if I remember, uh, from Andre Ward. Uh, just, just for the simple fact that he's inactive, easily could be number one. And I think uh, five had Deontay Wilder and then Jamal Charlo at four. And we got Jamal and Jamel, the Charlo twins. I had Jamal at 154. Uh, I had Guillermo Rigondeaux, Triple G, now Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? But this particular video I'm making is because there's a like there's a fighter out there that I didn't mention for the simple fact that he's not a household name. And he could easily be number one on the list. And and like I say, you know, you got the four sanctioning governing bodies in boxing, WBA, WBO, WBC, IBF. What comes to, but when it comes to rankings, what I go by, I've said it numerous times, is TBR, Transnational Boxing Rankings. I could basically be a spokesperson for them. <laughs> but Transnational Boxing Rankings, you know what I mean? I go by them. And right now, now he was this fighter I'm about to mention. He was number two on their pound for pound list. A lot of people disagree. He was number two on their pound for pound list. Now behind Floyd Mayweather. Now that Floyd Mayweather's retired, if you go to their site and you look at their pound for pound list, they have him number one now. And that's Romain Gonzalez. Romain Gonzalez from Nicaragua. You know what I mean? And the reason why you're like, well, who is this guy? And the reason why a lot of people don't really talk, and the reason why I didn't really mention him in my, in my pound for pound list video, is he's not a household name. Even though pound for pound, he's one of the best fighters out there. Not a lot of people know who he is for the simple fact that he fights down at flyweight, which is like down at 112 pounds. The average boxing fan don't really pay attention to guys that fight under featherweight. I mean, anything under featherweight, the average fan don't even know who who are these guys. You know, featherweight is where, you know, um, Guillermo Rig well, Junior Featherweight is Guillermo Rigondeaux at 122, 122 pounds. The Guillermo Rigondeaux, Carl Frampton, the Scott Queens, the no, 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 Nito Denaire in Junior Featherweight. And then in Super Featherweight, you got the Nicholas Walters, you know, the Jamaica that knocked out Don Donaire and Abner Mares and Santa Cruz, Leo Santa Cruz and the Gary Russell Juniors, you know what I mean? The average fan, once you get below featherweight, they don't really know who these guys are. They pay them no attention. The bantam weights and the fly weights and um, the, um, the straw weight and things like that. But with all that being said, man, Romain Gonzalez can fight. So I, I wanted to show the little guy some love, especially Romain Gonzalez. The guy can fight fight man and he definitely has the potential to become a household name but the simple fact that he fights at a lower weight class and he may have to jump up two weight classes skip bantam weight go all the way up to featherweight to fight a, a, a frampton or a queeg or a, a, a denaire or a gamma rigandale you know what i mean to get the big fights maybe get the big money you know what i mean jump up two weight classes but that's that's dangerous moving up two weight classes, especially if you're going to fight somebody like a Rigondeaux or something like that. I'm not saying that'll be his first fight, but most fans don't know who this guy is. He's one of the best fighters in the world. So I want to make this video to show him some love from me. El, El, El Chocolito, El Chocolito, I could be saying that wrong. El Chocolito Gonzalez, very solid fighter, great fighter, man. He's only 28 years old. I think he's, uh, I think he's what, 43 and 0, 37 knockouts. Guy can fight, 
great power. His fighting style reminds me of one of my favorite fighters, Julio Cesar Chavez Sr., not Jr., Sr. And his, I'm not comparing him to his style, how both guys are orthodox, but they use their left hand a lot. Jabs, hook, especially hook to the body. Good combination, guys. Left hook to the body, right right upstairs, straight right. Hook, I mean, left hook to the head, back down. I mean, body, head, head, body. Chavez did that beautifully. Roman Gonzalez does that beautifully with power, with skill. You know what I mean? The guy can fight, man. The guy can absolutely say 43 and 0, 37 knockouts. I just want to show him some love, man. I didn't mention him in, in, in my video, but he can, he's only 28. You know what I mean? Just that he's fighting at a small flowy. And most people don't pay attention to the little guys. You know what I mean? It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now, like I said, also according to a T, uh, TBR Transnational Boxing, boxing on their pound for pound list, at number, he's, they got him number one. They got Pacquiao number two. That, that's how much respect they have for this guy. The guy can fight, man. The guy can fight, man. Look, I want you guys to look him up. Romain Gonzalez, man, down at Flowery, 112 pounds. Small, smaller guys, you know what I mean? They look so small in the ring, you know what I'm saying? Um, but the guys can fight, man. Um, now, he beat Juan Francisco Estrada. They already beat him. Now, Francisco Estrada is number six on the pound for pound list for, uh, for TBR. He's number six. Romain Gonzalez already beat him. Not fairly easy, but um, when I saw the fight, I gave Ramon Gonzalez, uh, I think, uh, 116, 112 win, eight rounds to four. So I think uh, one of the judges gave had it that way. And I think the other two gave it nine rounds to three. Good, good, close competitive fight, but he's already beat somebody on the pound for pound list. You know what I mean? Things like that. Now, there could be a mega fight that I'm hearing that's in the works for about this time next year. You know what I mean? I, I say this could be a mega fight with sometime, maybe 2000, maybe early 2016, and that's with him and a young up-and-coming fighter from Japan, the, um, the Japanese man, Anoya uh, Anui. Uh, 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 man, I knew I'm messing this. Anoya Anui, something uh, something like that. He's at um, Junior Bantamweight. Now this guy is electric, man. He's absolutely electric. You know, in a O U N A O Y A N A O Y A last name Onui I N uh, O U E from Japan. They call him the monster. Call him the monster. He's 8 0, 7 knockouts. Very explosive. Very explosive. You know, kind of like Guillermo Rickendow. That's that. Only 8 fights. That's it. And he's already getting world champion. Kind of like Rick when Rickendow had 7, 8, 9 fights. They were already talking about Rickendow as far as. Um, championship fights, things like that. But the thing with Rigondeaux was his amateur background. I think he won gold in the 04 and 08 Olympics. Crazy. Had, I think, like 200 amateur fights. The guy was fighting and beating everybody. So his amateur background, plus people saw, okay, this guy can fight, and then once he turned pro, that's why. But this this guy now, uh, Anui, he hasn't fought outside Japan yet. You know what I mean? He hasn't fought outside Japan, but this guy is explosive, and he can fight. Fight, man. Now he's at Junior Bantamweight. Ramon Gonzalez is at uh Super Flyweight. So I, I'm pretty sure that's a fight that back to far as weight up. Maybe a catchweight, but I, I think Gonzalez can can move up to Junior Bantam. You know what I mean? Up to 115. It won't be a much of an issue there, in my opinion. And it, it would be a good fight because, see, according to Transnational Boxing Rankings, what I go by. Uh, Ramon Gonzalez is number one on the pound for pound list. He beat uh, Juan Francisco Estrada, who's number six on their list, and number nine is Anui. So th he, this is just he built him. If they were to fight, even though know, Anui only has you know what I mean eight fights, he's already number nine on their list. You know, a lot of people say take him off, put on Terence Crawford. I mean, it's debatable. It's debatable. They even had a debate between themselves. Um, between you know the, the the pound for pound list things like that. Of course, that's natural. Everybody's got different opinions and things like that. But that's just how much respect they have for this guy to be number nine on their pound for pound list. And he's only had eight fights. The guy, uh, I mean, Anui is athletic. The guy's a uh, power puncher, both hands. Very good athlete. Just a absolutely explosive man. The guy is explosive. He would have the weight advantage on Gonzalez. Things like that. The size advantage. Um, power, I mean, Gonzalez got great power. I mean, 37 knockouts. 
Anui's got great power, seven knockouts through eight fights. Don't have the experience yet. Now he has fought as far as the bantamweight division. He's fought and beat some of the some of the um the better guys in that division. He's already beat Tepereth Tepereth Kokichum Kokichum. He already beat him. Now he's according to TBR. Kokichum is number nine ranked bantamweight. He already beat him. He's already beaten um, Omar N um, Navarez. N Narvez. He's already beat him. Uh, man, I'm definitely not good at pronouncing names, man. Omar N Narvaez. I think I think him and Rom uh, Romain Gonzalez is out. They've already beat both of those. Uh, both of them have already beat Omar. But he's the number four ranked uh, bantamweight, and uh, Anui dominated and knocked out both of those guys. So he, you know, he's cleaning out the house in his own division. But I mean, if Ramon Gonzalez and Inouye, I'm pretty sure they're going to be on a collision course. So if you hear that that, that fight gets made, it probably won't even be on a, um, a main event. It'll probably be on an undercard. But if you hear that fight gets made, Ramon Gonzalez, a, a, a Noah, a, a Nui, man, check check that fight out, man. These two guys can fight, man, especially Romain, Romain Gonzalez, who's been in the game for a while. Built his resume number one on TBR's pound for pound list. I didn't show him love in my last video. I wanted to show the, show the little guy some love. That I mean, this fight should happen. It's gonna be a good explosive fight, man. Um, if it does happen, I'll do a breakdown video on it. But I want you guys to check these guys out, man. A Anui is explosive. He's excited. He he's getting guys out of there, dominating guys. I mean, Omar N N Narvaez is no slouch, man. Champion, solid champion, fed in the game. Dominated him, had no chance. Dominated him, you know what I mean? I know he's for real, but it's early. It's only, only eight fights, seven knockouts, you know what I mean? Real deal, but I definitely want to show the little guy some love, especially El 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 Chocolito, Romain Gonzalez, man. Romain Gonzalez can fight, man. Good, technically sound fighter. Good with both hands, good combination puncher, puts his hands together very well, doesn't always just head hunt. He goes to the body, back up to the head. I mean, you don't know where the punches are coming from. You don't know if it's upstairs. I mean, just what well, Chavez did, you don't know. And that's a complete fighter, man. I love that the guy can fight. I just want to show the little guy some love, man. I'd say the average fan, once you get below featherweight, you know, the, the bantam, the flyweight, and, and, and the straw weight. Down at 105, anything below um, um, 120, 122 at featherweight, the most fans don't even pay those small guys any attention. But if that, if this fight was to happen between uh, Anui and, and Romain Gonzalez, that fight can bring a lot of attention to the smaller weight classes. Like, hey, especially because over the last what seven, eight years, because Floyd Mayweather beat Delahoy in those in 07, May 07, then the December 07, he knocked out Ricky Hatton. Took 21 months off. And 08 is when um, Pacquiao fought Marquez for the second time. He was really making a name for himself. So basically since 08, it's almost 2016 now. It's already October. About to be October. It's already October now. You know, um, basically since eight years, the average fan, they only knew Floyd Mayweather and his opponent, Manny Pacquiao and his opponent. And that was really about it. You know what I mean? I, I, what I'm trying to do is trying to get the average, cause the average fan, the more people get involved in. I, I just love boxing, man. I'm nobody special. I'm just an average guy that loves boxing. Boxing, trying to draw some attention, get people back into the sport. And reason why I mentioned Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao. I'm a huge Floyd Mayweather fan. You know, I'm sad to see him go. Great career, first ballot Hall of Famer, no doubt about it. You know what I mean? But now that he's gone, it's good for some of these other guys get to get out there now. They're not going to make Floyd Mayweather money, but to be a household name. I want Romain Gonzalez to be a household name. A new if he keeps fighting, being explosive, to be a household name. You know what I mean? Like Deontay Wilder, Triple G, Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford, Keith Thurman. You know what I mean? Guys that can make some noise. Anthony Joshua at the heavyweight division from the UK. 14 and 0, 14 knockouts. You know what I mean? He's got a big fight with uh, with Dylan White, also from the UK. I think he's 15 and 0, 12, not 13, something like that. They've got a big fight coming up in December in the heavyweight division. I'm just trying to, you know what I mean? Now that Mayweather and he's retired, Pacquiao, it's on his way out. Some of these other fighters are getting involved in the sport of boxing. Because a lot of fans, they didn't really even get involved until the whole Pacquiao Mayweather saga began. And, and that's all they know about for over the last basically eight years. 
now that get, let's get some new blood, some fresh blood in the sport. They say and boxing is not dead. It's I mean, it's gonna be good as ever, man. But I want to show the little guy some love, man. Ramon Gonzalez, El, El Chocolito, and, and, and especially um, Gonzalez, especially him, man. I like him. The guy can fight. You know what I mean? Hopefully he fights with a newie. That'll be an explosive fight. Explosive. Great fight. And it can bring some attention to the lower weight classes. So everybody in, from straw weight, 105, he's all the way up to Tyson Fury, 260. One of the biggest, almost probably the biggest fighter in the sport. You know what I mean? That's fighting at a high level. You know what I mean? From all the way, all the way from it's straw weight to heavyweight. Everybody get their name out there so we're not just paying attention. I love Floyd to just Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. So everybody some love in boxing. Make these big fights happen, you know what I mean? I love boxing. Just trying to draw some attention to the sport and get everybody, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, I want to show a little guy some love, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, man. Look up these guys and look up. Start paying attention to the smaller weight class, man. And uh, look up a new year now, Romain Gonzalez, man. If they fight, good explosive fight. Explosive, good fight. Entertaining fight. No doubt about that, man. Anyway, let's say like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff, man. Let me know what you guys think, man. I just love boxing, man. Um, let me know what you think, man. This your boy. It's showing little guys some love. That's all I'm doing. Showing little guys some love, man. <laughs> anyway, man. This your boy, the real McCoy, man. I'm out. Peace.